So here we are putting together our show, Reconstructed, Deconstructed, Deconstructed, Reconstructed. I'm not even sure what the title is anymore. Still Life. So we took this concept of still life and it's on the wall and off the wall. You may see these really cool forms. They look kind of like some kind of new cool alphabet, almost like a graffiti mark or a chess piece, some people have said. And you may wonder, what the heck? Where do they, what do they relate to? Well, the reason we put them in the show is because there's two-dimensional art based on it as well. And this is the art by Larry Morris. Don't look at the lighting. I know it's not good yet. We just put it up. <laughs> and here's more work by Larry Morris. And you might also say, hmm, abstract, still life. And why do we have that here too for reconstructed, deconstructed? Because Larry makes maquettes, three-dimensional maquettes that he uses to inspire his abstract work, which is so cool. Here's another piece, not up on the wall yet. We're getting ready because we're gonna have News 12 come here today. But I just wanted to show you our different interpretations of still life still lives yes as you see these are by Miranda Updike and what about this this is a still life sneakers on the telephone poles my crazy sneakers that I did this is encaustic this is by me Suzanne Kachmar so you could see the surface is encaustic and let's see. Oh, we have this. This is by John Putzwoli. Awesome Potter. This is by Marilyn Adlin. Outstanding painter. I love this painting. So beautiful. And then this is glass work by Strive Glass. One of the reasons I was inspired to do this show. He is an artist in this building, The Nest. He will be doing a demonstration of glass blowing. It's called lamp work. And he will talk about man and his relationship to glass throughout history. It'll be on Saturday and Sunday at the nest in the afternoon, early afternoon. Here's another painting by that mad painter, Suzanne Katchmar. Not her best work, but it's apropos for the show. And this is a sculpture by Larry this is this piece, uh, we're gluing a piece. It will be upright by the time the exhibit opens, hopefully by the photo shoot today. And this is another outstanding piece of art by Marilyn Adlin. As I said, this is Larry Morris's beautiful work. You have to come to the nest, 1720 Fairfield Avenue and see his work. You see here some more of his crazy forms that he creates, these beautiful sculptural pieces. That have become that were became this. So he isn't it something he creates three dimensional works to make his two dimensional work mind blowing. Anyway, that be our show. Come and visit us. Sorry if I'm getting anybody seasick. <laughs> See you at the BridgeportArtTrail.org, November 10th through the 13th, Saturday and Sunday, November 12th and 13th. The nest will be open. 1720 Fairfield Avenue from 11 to 5 and even later on Saturday with music. So look at the website and you can find out about it. You can also go to participating um, studio sites and get a program book which will tell you what's happening every day of the week. We have film screenings here, Bridgeport Film Fest, The Fabric Chronicles by Rick Reyes. It'll be a great uh, weekend all over the city and we hope to see you. Bye-bye.